At the point of Acts 19.21, Paul is halfway in distance through his third trip when he decides he wants to visit Jerusalem and then to Rome where there already is a strong Christian community. Now for me, there are two very interesting features about Acts 19.21 to 22. Firstly is the absence of any mention of divine guidance. It doesn't say it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to Paul to visit Jerusalem and Rome. There are no visions of men or angels beckoning him on. It just says in a very matter-of-fact manner, Paul decided to go to Jerusalem and I must visit Rome also. The second feature can easily be overlooked. Paul is such a big name in our study in Acts that we forget that he uh, had a team behind him. He was a team player. Timothy and Erastus went ahead of him and it wasn't a competition to see who could get to Greece first or who could build the biggest church. You see, Paul had allowed the Holy Spirit to crucify his ego so much that it didn't matter where he went because the Holy Spirit always flowed out of him into those around regardless of whether he felt comfortable or appreciated or rewarded. He was so in tune with the Spirit that he knew that for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. You probably know that he wrote those words to the Christian believers in Philippi whilst he was imprisoned in Rome. Now before you accuse me of giving away the end of the story, let me just say that the story hasn't finished yet. You and I still have are pieces of life's jigsaw to put down on the board. They may be centrepieces or a corner or one of those seemingly insignificant sky portions. But my prayer is that we all play our part with the same uh, lack of self-interest and with the same determination that Paul the Apostle had. Thank you for listening.